G'day and welcome back to our Malakan Cossacks campaign, where at the moment we need an additional 20,000 men to um, fill out our 30,000 man army. So we're just going to start doing the, uh, what do you call them? I know the word, mercenaries. He's going to be annoying down there for a bit, but we just need to finish this siege. Defenders desert. Don't care. Take it this time, please. I'm going to have to keep dealing with these guys. Prince Unrest in Makassar. What the goes that? So, split these guys up. Get these done and then rush down there and kill him. And let's just send these guys back to Malacca. Alright, good, good. Down this way. There are our mercenaries. Let's pull them together in jungle. Where is he going? Alright, that one's done. Down to Champa. Occupied by Lagor. Interesting. So he's declared on him as well. We've got these guys to 100%. We need to kill that army though, or they'll just turn into rebels. 3243 three is not fantastic, but. Um, Ligor. I don't know, this isn't going to work out well, no matter what we do. Actually, let's take out Majahur Pit first. Alright, take all his land and money. 400 points is not good. Reduce that. Manage this by coring one. Convert plopper. Alright, I tie one out. Lanjang one in. We can declare on them? We can. Alright, so we just declare war on them. Increases our piety. We take their single province. Take this one first, so we can take that from Ayutthaya when we need to. <coughs> of course, he's now at war with us, so let's head up this way. Alright, Merc's in the middle. finish this first and then just go down and kill them down there. Lose Diplo. Alright, that's that. And the Alima and the Emirs both want some more land. So, what did we not give to the Alima? Take that. And the Emirs should be able to find something good. Let's just give them this one. Bit of a boost. Alright, regain rate at the moment is 275. There goes their army. And there goes their army. Four siege progress isn't fantastic. But I have nothing. I have nothing. I wonder what happens if we piece out Malacca first, not Malacca, um, Ligor first, because then they'd try and drag us into this war, but we're already at war with them. Kill him, buddy. Water shortage. That's because you're going to get. Yeah, when do we get the next castle? Level 11. All right. Oh, there goes that siege, so let's find out. If we surf, well, let's check this, 53%. If we surf peace with them first, take this chunk of land, take the money, and do that. Yeah, just can't do anything. Truce with Khmer has ended. We can't even declare on them. Well, we can declare on them, clearly, but we can't fabricate on them. Hmm, there's a lot of men in there. 
lose diplo, lose stability. Uh, the lose diplo. Six six nine. Let's compare that to Ming. Yeah, we're doing really bad. The amount of diplo that we spent trying to annex those vassals. All right, Keta. 35. Brunei was supposed to be a lot shorter. They have no allies. We could do them at the end of this year. We are going to head over there. Hmm. It'd be nice if we could just pay more to get mercenaries to join your regular manpower pool. Do, do, do. Statesman has died. We can afford anything, but let's just go for trade efficiency. 1446. Yeah, more than a ducat paying for himself. Got a trade worth about a third. Right, there goes Trist Brunei have all the claims we can get. He has no allies. He's got a royal marriage with Ming. So we definitely want to start this thing. Want to get our boats out of the way just in case though. Lanjiang aren't busy. Mm, there is a fort up there that we can get Lanjiang to do. I think we'll just do this ourselves. Alright, they are all together. So let's go Declare war on them. Do it over Samarinda. Which is also a fort, which is annoying. We need 6k. It's going to be the mercs, but it's also going to be the cannons. Let's go for this with siege guy that's not the leader and then get these guys to just bunny hop past on the boots keep the animus conversions going right, 48 over extension do leaders on ships. But you can teleport them. Bring them to a ship though. Completely different matter. Come on. It's a 13 stack with 600 men in it. And you know he's going to attack us so we'd better put anybody we can in charge. Hmm. Did we want him to die? We kind of do. Don't take the stability hit for it. Mm -hmm. Good timing. So, get these guys up. They'll actually lead the attack. And bring these guys in after. Should be mercs in the middle. wanders straight past the separatists in his land. A piece off from Aitaya we're going to ignore. Uh, he's got another fort up there. Hmm. Let's go get started on it. Pull these guys in behind. I don't want to touch the Champagne separatists because we want them to separate so we can attack them faster. Now, this fort is on that sea zone. Call for peace should be against Ayataya, who now has peasants. Oh, that's going to suck. Looks like we don't care. 68, we can only take 52. So, sue for peace, let him keep that. So we have to 
keep that as well for us to stay under 100. So we'll just take our claims, take his money, and he'll give us war reps. Yeah, that'll do us. Alright, they can bugger off. Because he had apparently half the country, so instantly broke. And Zhang want to come in. We need 20,000 more men. Our extension is a little crazy at the moment. The actual... Yeah, could get some problems. Sale of titles. Gain money. The emirs lose. Gain stability. Yes. That gave us with the emirs. Alright, we can't... We can get that. So we call a diet. We will grant generalship. We get more crap. 2200. Alright, the Majapiti. Pity. Kind of low. Once this ticks up, we'll buy it down. We will gain money. Brunei. How the hell did you get over there? I no, just walked around there, I guess. Hmm. Well, they can sit on that for a long time. Must have crushed that other army there. Would love to see when these guys are going to break. Champagne Separatists. We can support rebels. They are revolted. Pay the minimum. That should mean... We can't get past the fort anyway. Alright, we just need to get around to his capital. Disease outbreak. Oh, damn it. And there come a massive stack of separatists. So what we are instead going to do is jump on the boats. Hmm. Well, we'll have a while until they get to the fort. Let's just hope we can win this quickly. Alright. And yes, what we we're going to do was split off these guys, just bring them all together. That will give us all oh, 20 freaking slots. So let's do it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That'll cost us a lot. Ten ducats. Can't quite afford it at the moment. But because of the separatists we're supporting. So let's stop supporting those separatists. I was doing it so we could walk this army past, but forgot we can't get past the fort anyway. And our good general's dead. Got the crappy 2 2 left. Do, do, swap him out for him. Alright, next one reduce overextension or conquer Fit Sanlock. Sanlock is part of Pegu. No, let's just reduce overextension. It's obviously something we need to try to do. Kadiri. Alright. Hmm, lose. Well, how long is that? Five years of extra costs. Alright. Let's get these men together. Now, not through there, you dumbass. Take the boats. He's going to retake that first. Um, we want to get to 100% though. Well,. No, we will. All grasslands around there. What's the 
siege. Now he's going to walk behind us and retake everything we took. But we want somebody in charge here. Yeah, we're not going to spend the points. I'm behind on tech. Started on Carter. And I really don't like our chance. Though he has no leader there at the moment. Let's see if there's river crossing. There is. So, damn it. I wanted to force him to get a river crossing. Alright, infantry onto a bunch of other stuff. This will be able to win it. That's what the war chest was for. sort out that little problem. And okay, Navy tradition. We need to get over to the coast of Sarawak. He's got two heavies, we've got two heavies. We've got a lot more lights than him. Alright, got everything back. We out to Surabaya. I'm going to send these guys over to Samarinda. Speaking of which, got a lot more force limit. So let's do this manually. Build a bunch of cogs. Nine, ten. That'll do. A year and a bit from now, we'll have 25 stacks that we can move around. Alright, we want to take that before we send him down to bring these guys up. Just need them doing the siege. Although, I'm going to keep everybody there for now, I guess. Alright, don't need the base stacks too much. It's just Go for prestige. One siege Brunei, which means those boats are about to skip out. And hopefully he'll go and attack those Champanis. Well, he didn't lose much, but he's about to lose a bit more. I tire, except a piece with Pegu. Okay. Took Cebu. Kicks their navy out again. Kill a couple more of them. They come down here. We kick them out again. Right, so he's just got heavies and transports now. And those guys need to transport these guys over there. We should actually remember to keep pouring. Oh yes, we have fought up a... We are making a profit despite the massive mercenary army that we're dealing with. And we are on the force limit. Austria is re-elected. How much the HRE can we see? Most of it now. Burgundy. Holy crap, France. This is where I'm looking forward to the timeline thing in Mare Nostrum. Hmm. I don't know, by the time this one airs, you've probably already seen that in Mare Nostrum. Ooh, Mutapa. Alright, come on. Bunch of boats so we can't move because their fleet's there. We've lost that siege, of course. Let's head. No. Do not do that. They bring all them around. Um, let's wait until this siege tick. Come down this way. Pick them up. Bring them out. And then transport them in. Do 
gonna stay in the jungle in case he does come down. Yeah, you've won that without the guy even being there. Good. Just walk past. Walk in. These guys will just stay there to do repairs. To brow. Let's wait for them to get in. Go up there and kill as many of these guys as we can. Some grasslands. Got a 3 2. That doesn't bother us too much. Spread out a little. Needs to retake that. Gain a lot of mercantilism. Can. These are not the guys that we particularly wanted there. It's these guys we want to be leading the attack. Battle should go before he even gets there. Good. Alright, so from here we detach all mercenaries. I'm going to be a little smarter about it though. Make sure the mercenaries stay with the guy. Alright, group them up. Call for peace, damn it. Which is weird, because we don't have two of his forts. Okay, well, let's grab military tech. Culverin and Better Cavalry. Samurai give way to the step. And we'll take defensive morale. Now, from Brunei, what can we take? Alright, stuff that we have claims on. We can't even do nearly that much. Because we don't have fort. Yeah, we're going to wait for that fort. And then we want to take this. And we could take more. I think something like that's what we're going to want. Make him nice and weak, and then hopefully Champa comes out. Why? I'll buy a chimp any separatists if champ is not even there. Hmm. Alright, well, bringing these guys out will make this a little faster. They're all healed up now. Call for peace isn't significant yet. I guess we found his navy again. capture it. Damn. Lost one of our own in the process. Oh well. They <laughs> totally focused fire on it. Everyone else is absolutely fine. Oh. There's another fleet over there yet. Yeah? No, his fleet's completely gone. So let's bring these guys out. Take advantage of the chance. Alright, got that. And another general died. Khmer will cede anchor to Lanjiang. Yep, cool. Don't know why I didn't full annex him. But we're at 99 with these guys now, and we have the fort. Oh, we can't do them because we don't have that one. Alright. Take the money. That will actually let us take more down here. Take Shibu. That would be, what is it, Brunei? What other ones did you have? Jesselton. Has he been doing some colonizing? No, it's that one. All right, whatever. Sue for peace. Jesselton, we uh, demand because it's worth a lot. So we'll take his money and 
and do that. Give their core to dive yet. No, that'll do. Give us that 65% we can handle. So, Sufi Peace, go away. Malakan Indonesia now, looks good. Too few rivals, we've got Brunei, that won't last long. Pegu, Lanjang, Bamanas. Pegu, sound reasonable. And Ming is a definite no, we're nearly as strong as them. Lanjang are no, because they're our allies. Bamanas, I see no reason for doing it. Okay, well, we'll take a short break here. Thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.